How bad could it possibly be? <gasps> hey, hey, Elda Kettle! Well, gas. Not a line, but, uh. Whoa! Is he even destroying all the buildings, too? Suppose it is destruction. Even hexes can't withstand that. So, if you could do this all along, Azul, what did you need us for? Nuts. Who do you think you are, Ashura? No. No, just kidding. Well, you kind of already destroyed the world. Well, yeah, he's the freaking devil! Not pretty much. He already did. Too bad. like he wants us to defeat him. Yeah, yeah, 100 face palms is ridiculous. Yep, pretty much. Well, sort of. You'll see. I'll show the alternate endings, eventually. But we would have died if we just minded our own business. Uh, well, he kind of already destroyed the world, so... I don't think there's really much we can do. But, sure, why not? I, mean, I guess all that's left is revenge. It's always a good motivation for JRPG protagonists. For final boss time against Delgaia himself. And this guy is not a pushover. So, first things first. Uh, we want to use Berserk there to buff up, get Ethereal Weapon on Raphael. Uh, Delgaia is weak to light elemental attacks. Not that I'm really going to use them that often. The only time they'd really be useful is like if you had Cecilia in your party. And I will use her in the bonus episodes, so don't worry. Now, I could use a Stormbringer if I had the Force first to do it, but I don't. <laughs> I like how whenever you hit him, he's just like, RIDICULOUS! See, this is where it came from, viewers. When I was saying that before in my last LP. So yeah, now we want to buff up the Pina, because this fight's going to last quite a while. Yeah. Ridiculous! <laughs> oh, I never get tired of that. Yeah, look at that damage! Yeah, Dire Assault is really good. Dire Assault, Viper Steel, Stormbringer, whatever you got. Although at this point... <laughs> it's sparkly time! Yeah, at this point, uh, I want to save my Force Bursts for later. Now, one of his attacks that he can do is called Catastrophe, which can inflict a lot of stalemate, or status ailments on your party. Yeah, a lot of stalemates. Yeah. Ridiculous! So, yeah, you want to kill him before that becomes a problem with Catastrophe. So I'm using the Orb of Hope instead of Twinkle Heal because I want to save my Force Burst at this point. <laughs> Ridiculous! <laughs> well, not so ridiculous after all, huh? 
What's with the eyes there? You're in the presence of God and the and the devil at once. Gaia and Dark Gaia? Yeah, pretty much. Well, all right, we got him. So, can we... What do we do now? I mean, the world's kind of gone. Well, now to finish the revenge. Yeah, vengeance! That's the lesson for the kid. Huh? Well, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Oh, he committed suicide? Huh? What's going on? W where are you? I, th I thought you were dead. Whoa! How big could- Whoa! Kinda looks like Delgaia, but he, she, I'm gonna say he has all those Ragnifex. Oh, crap! Nuts. How'd you do that? Why didn't you just do that to begin with? That's both of them combined now. Nuts. So that's why he wanted us to kill him. That was his plan all along. Huh? What do you mean, Levant? Well, we'll learn more about that on Levant's path. Cecilia's path, we don't really know much about that. Yeah, I don't really care about you. We just played with you for fun. Nuts. We played with your nuts. Well, they did have some humans in that jail cell in Gulch Fort. I like that area. What do you guys care about us? I thought you were... You had a grudge against the gods, not us. What do you care about us for? What did we do to you? So, he's got a hard-on for Philia, that's why he's doing all this? Well, at least he has good taste. Yeah. <laughs> One, minus 190. Where did they come up with that number? Let's defeat you now! For real final boss time! I'll be quiet for this part. Finally, a challenge! Yeah, kick ass! Okay, so, first things first, I want to use Stormbringer on Galuta because... Uh, he's white out aspect right now, and that Stormbringer pierces defense. <laughs> okay, now we want to use Ethereal Weapon. I thought about uh, having Raphael defend and then 
using Stormbringer after getting a Furial weapon on him, but he'd get his turn after Galisa's turn. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow! Okay, now every time Galisa does an attack, he'll change his aspect. He'll go white, red, white, red, blue, and then repeat that five step cycle over and over and over again. So anyway, yeah, get your ethereal weapon on Raphael there. Yeah, while he's a uh, red aspect, Greek should use uh, aerial cleave. Yeah, that'll deal our best damage there. Okay, now you see he's back to white aspect. Since I don't have enough force burst left, just use dire assault. I'm going to try and not heal Raphael so I can build up my dire assault because that's really good for damage. It just builds and builds and builds. Yeah, look at that damage. Now, while he's in his white aspect form, you want Greek to use Berserk Barrage because uh, he'll be strong against Aerial Cleave in white aspect form. Okay, now he's red again, so now let's just use. Hmm. Yeah, probably Dire Assault. Eh, it's about as good as you get. I don't want to use. Uh, the, uh, what is that thing? The Force Burst. Oh, Stormbringer, that's it. Yeah, I don't want to use that while, unless he's in white aspect form. Now, once you see him turn blue, defend. Absolutely defend. Or he will kill you with this. I understand my Latin correctly, Agne, Ag, Agnes Dei literally means Lamb of the Gods. What not an amazing name for an attack. So anyway, now he's done with blue, so go all out. Now actually, I probably didn't need to defend for Ag, Agnes Dei because I'm so overpowered, but, well, I just wanted to pretend this fight was remotely challenged. So anyway, now let's rebuff up. Hmm. Yeah, I can't even uh, use Berserk now. Oh. Let's keep on going with the good Dire Assault. Wow. I've seen Dire Assault do upwards of 7,000 damage when he's at like 1 HP. It's obscene. Hmm. Yeah, let's... Well, maybe I should heal up. Let's keep her healed up, but don't heal Raphael. If he dies, I can just revive him at relatively low HP. If you're powerful enough to survive Agnes Day without defending, uh, you could use Aerial Cleave and Viper Steel to uh, damage him. You could also use Lafina's Electrocute. Uh, don't use Holy Elemental attacks, because now that Galiza is fused with Norvia, He's strong against both darkness and light elemental attacks. So let's keep Greek up on the HP there. What was that? Your death! That's what it was. All right, got it. Sorry, ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> I hate, 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 hate you! So, we killed all the gods? And Galiza? Well, what do we do now? Oh, hey! Uh what happened? Yeah, we kind of knew that. 
Hey, hey! Uh, well, okay, but what about the world? It's already gone. Does this happen every time? Kind of seems like this doesn't happen every time. Like, this is the first time we've ever done this. Yet, she was already in the vessel before and had to be resurrected or whatever. Pretend it makes sense, viewers. One thing that I really like about this game is that the final boss changes depending on which ending you get. Hey, hey, all right. People are back. So yeah, I'm going to do bonus episodes showing the uh, different final bosses. Who is that guy in the forest there? Was it that guy from that one? What is this? What's happening? From that one side quest? What? It seems kind of odd that they would make a cutscene for just one guy from a relatively obscure side quest. The one where you found the guy who's already dead in the forest there. I guess maybe it could be Seminole? I don't think so. All right, we made it back. By the way, uh, one thing I just wanted to let you know, uh, on the creation ending, after the credits, there is, th there's more cutscenes. So stick around for that, viewers. Covenant. Well, let's see what it looks like now that we've restored the world. 